Hi, today I want to show you how to solve quadratic equation with complex coefficient. So uh, our equation is right on here. Uh, our coefficient uh, are a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, and c is complex and is 3 plus i where of course i is the square root of minus 1. Okay, how to begin uh, the solution? First of all, like in real case, we have to uh, calculate delta. Delta is uh, b squared minus, minus 4 times a times c. So if we uh, use these uh, values, it will be uh, minus 3 to squared, squared minus 3 is 9, minus 4 times 1, and times uh, 3 plus 1. Okay, if we evaluate this, um, the answer will be minus uh, 3 minus 4i. Okay. So our delta is complex number. Um, what we can do about it? Uh, remember that in the solution for two solutions of the quadratic equation, we have uh, the following formula, minus b plus minus square root of delta uh, divided by 2a. So, uh, to obtain the solution, we have to know the, um, the square roots uh, of delta. So, how to obtain the answer, the, the square roots uh, from delta? Let's calculate it. Um, first of all, let's assume that square root of delta is some complex number. It's uh, x plus a i uh, y, and of course x and y uh, are in are uh, purely real numbers. So the trick is to square uh, to square the both sides of this of this equation and what we'll get here on the left side we will get delta and on the right side we will get uh, x plus i y squared so if we calculate this uh, using uh, formulas for uh, squared uh, sum we will get x squared plus 2x plus uh, times y times i and minus y squared because i squared is uh, minus 1 so this is how this minus uh, appear here and uh, let's uh, rearrange the terms. Okay, so uh, we know that our delta is the is this number, and we know uh, that, we, and we will want to know um, the square root of delta. So the square root of delta is x plus I y and we um, we know that delta is uh, such a formula so we can compare these two uh, these two numbers because they should will be equal uh, delta should be equal to this delta
okay so minus 3 minus 4a should be equal to x squared minus y squared plus 2x times y i so this is true only if uh, real parts of left hand side and right, right hand side are equal and complex uh, parts of left hand side and right hand side are equal so uh, this one equation will produce uh, for us two equations first is minus 3 from the left hand side should be equal to x squared minus y squared and second is minus 4 should be equal to 2xy okay this is our set of equations now how to solve this um, there is a mathematical trick to uh, first of all multiply first equation by um, by for example y squared and squared both side of sides of the second equation what we will get then first uh, we will multiply by y squared so on the left hand side we will get minus 3 y squared and on the right hand side we will get mm, x squared y squared minus y to the fourth so uh, this is our first equation and second equation uh, will be squared so on the left hand side we will get 16 uh, on the right hand side we will get uh, 4 4 x squared y squared of course we can uh, divided both sides by 4 and we will get here 4 and here 1 okay why we would uh, like to do that this um, transformation this multiplication and uh, uh, this powering of the second equation uh, mm. look this term is the same as this term so we can plug second equation into first equation so what we will get then if after plugging this we will get minus y squared is equal we know that x squared times y squared is 4 so we write here 4 minus y to the fourth power okay let's rearrange the terms um, let's uh, move right hand side to the left hand side and then we will get y to the fourth minus 3 y squared minus 4 is equal to 0 so we get new equation Uh, and we have to solve it to solve this set of equation for y and x oh, How to do that we have to um, make um, new Substitution let's call y squared. Let's Call y squared t If we do that the equation will become um, t squared minus 3 t minus 4 okay we know how to solve this equation let's do that let's calculate uh, delta but this is not the same delta as before this let's call it delta prime it's 9 minus 4 times 1 times 4 minus 4 so it will be plus here here oh sorry here and this is 25 so 
we can calculate T1, T2 uh, it's minus b, so it's 3, plus minus square root from 25, it's 5, uh, divided by 2a, a is 1, so divided by 2. So the first solution, t1, is 8 divided by 2, it's 4, and the second solution, t2, is uh, minus 2 divided by 2, it's minus 1. Okay, so we found solution for the t, and uh, we was looking for the y, which is equal to t. So we can see uh, we assume that y here we assume that y is real number. So um, can y squared uh, before yes can it can be four so y then is uh, equal to and can y squared be minus one it cannot because y should be squared only solution for that is plus minus i but as we said before as we assume y uh, is um, real number so only solution is y equal to actually uh, y equal plus minus two okay this solution goes from this uh, t1 okay so we found uh, solution of this equation it's plus minus uh, plus minus uh, two and uh, from from this equation, um, actually not from from this from this equation, uh, let's divide it before using it by two. It's minus two uh, equal to x times y. So we know that x is minus two divided by y okay let's use this here oh sorry let's use it here and what we will get we will get that for e uh, not we will get that for y um, plus 2 x is equal minus 2 divided by plus 2 is minus 1 and for um, for y equal to minus 2 x is equal to mm, 1 okay so we found the square root of this delta by uh, looking for the solution of this set of equation uh, Okay, so let's get back to uh, this formula. Uh, and one thing to notice, uh, we can, of course, I don't didn't say one thing. Um, so our square roots of delta is um, is minus one plus 2i and the second solution is mm, 1 minus 2i um, of course uh, we know that from uh, solving this equation that we have two square roots from delta but uh, here we have plus minus um, plus minus square root of delta so uh, the argument is that we don't have to um, use here plus minus and we can only choose one, one sign because um, from the um, main theorem in algebra it states that the 
um, this equation of the second degree equation polynomial uh, have only two solutions so uh, this solution if we use plus minus will uh, appear the same so we can use only uh, plus here and the solution for the for this equation will be um, minus 3 minus b it's plus uh, 3 plus minus first square root of delta divided by 2 oh actually I want to write here 1 and the second is um, plus 3 oh I'm sorry it should be plus here um, plus 1 minus 2i divided by 2 so if we evaluate first and second we will get uh, 3 minus 1 it's 2 divided by 2 is 1 and the imaginary part is 2i so we will get i here i just i and second is 4 divided by 2 is 2 minus 2 i minus 2 i divided by 2 is 2 is just i okay so one more thing we can uh, of course rewrite this equation because we know the square roots and we can rewrite this as follows z minus 1 plus i and z minus 2 minus i and if we will multiply this uh, formula here we should get the left hand side okay thank you for listening and I hope that I hmm, answer your problem with algebra uh, for solving the polynomials of the second degree. Thank you, take care.